Mm. We don't need two movers. Why would you jo join a stream? That's what we gotta think about. When you are joining a stream for the first time, what are you looking for? Are you just randomly joining a stream? Or are you joining because that guy is just really good? You wouldn't join because that guy is fun, right? I was here when Nadrag became pro. That's right. Secret pro deck, no clickbait. <laughs> Damn. You're looking for pyramids? <laughs> Can't argue with that. But seriously. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, ultimately, it's a bit of a hit or miss approach, right? You just go in, and if that person talks, like, Hey, what's up, guys? Let's play some games! And like, okay, you just leave, and uh, you just keep going until you find someone not, not crazy. I don't know. That's kind of my approach. You're looking to kill pyramids. You guys found each other. Oh, crap. I can't get rid of that. That's not best. It's not, not really the best we can do. We're boosting... Whoa, whoa, whoa. So this is basically the poison day now. Hit or miss, don't remind me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that much. But it can be hard to discover someone who, who you like, I suppose. No! We gotta put him in the front. Yeah, we're putting him him in the front, and he also hits the Harmony Dryad, and we're getting one more point. So we don't care too much. I don't care too much about who has the last say, but I kind of like not losing a card. It currently looks pretty bad. So we are two points down. We are going first. He's gonna get two points next turn. I can get one point next turn. I can play this for six. But he would only need to play uh, a 4 to really make up for that trap. And if he played the trap, it's gonna be a bit of a, a dead giveaway that, you know, maybe you wanna uh, play something stronger. I think we're still gonna play the Mahakam Horn. But I'm not too happy with this. This could be the last card we play. Oh my god. Oh, the boring deck. I think we might end up playing here. I think we might just go Kayam again. And Bruver move the uh, the boar. Oh, that's even better. Wait, yeah, that that's better. So we are technically at twenty two, right? We're kind of in the same situation. And he might be greedy here. That's... That's stupidly greedy. Okay. What am I even doing? So that needs to be killed. And that needs to be killed. 
I'm, I don't like this, but I'll do it. He passes. It's safe to say that he got the better trade here. Killing the boar wasn't technically crucial. York is kind of nice. I don't know if he wants so many Avon Scouts, but I think they are definitely the better cards. But we have some better cards than that. Fine, let's just pass. Eatly and Eggly, that's the full way. That's perfect. Oh, that's kind of good. So, as long as we throw away Patrot, now we got the Oven Scout. We have access to all the traps. We have uh, Ragnarok, we have Yorvat, we have Hawker Smuggler. This is kind of okay. And most likely he's gonna play out the, the drive combo right away. That we're gonna Ragnarok. Oh, he's playing it on a different row. On. But at any rate, uh, let's just Ragnarok in the back. Just to make sure that the immune one gets Ragnarok. What I would like to see is uh, maybe they are the devs getting away from immunity. Maybe completely. Because they got rid of immunity from Aradan and made him complete garbage. I didn't really understand that. heck is that? I would just have to assume that that's gonna be the the poison one. Because he's running the poison deck. Yes, get rid of immunity so more spell only decks appear. No. That's not what I meant. Humanity can be the answer uh, to control. It's like, oh, you can't uh, affect me at all. I don't know. That's, that's kind of a lame answer. Spell to LP, please. I don't know. Oh my god, the movement. So if you move this back, we're gonna get quite a lot of points out of it. Probably a lot more than if we move, if we just get a good trap value by the end. So we're just gonna move back the smuggler. And I guess I gotta play the scouts. As you said, CDPR need to remove auto include neutral cards. Yeah. Anything that just get, gets included all the time is, is a bit problematic. That's kind of odd. Why did he do that? What is his follow-up? Is it Gimpy? Oh shit, it might be Gimpy. If so... Then maybe we should your with Gambit. So this goes up to 5. This is a bit unusual, but I I'm feeling good about this move. So, this is not gonna get a boost. He knows that one is a crushing trap, because I already used up the Mahakam Horn. Okay, managed to kill a Sursa. But, Elven Scout goes up by one, so they can't die. You should not have come here. To the... Yeah, that's pretty good. They can't die to Gimpy anymore. That he might... He probably doesn't have. Come on, let's, let's be realistic. He has two damage. <laughs> yeah, I figured that. 
Well, the back is completely dead. So movement is not too valuable, you boo, because he's just playing in the front. But now he just played Skeggs in the back just to disprove me. Now the question is, do we replay the Pitfall Trap or we just replay the Crushing Trap? I think the pitfall trap might be better. And we go crushing trap, then great oak. Oh, that wasn't the best. Well, I hope he doesn't have an igni. But other than that, I'm I'm pretty good. Maybe he had two poison cards, and now it's awkward. Um, not supposed to be a okay. Yes. Again, uh, Dana can't beat me at all. So GG. Yeah, maybe Crushing Trap goes away, and uh, Elven Scout goes away, and Cutthroat goes away. Not a Meave! Leave it with the pyramids, John! <laughs> it's fine. But just break up a topic, guys! I think that's more fun. We had a big talk about health the other day. So much so that uh, someone actually took it personally. Holy crap. I actually felt bad about that. I ended up thinking about it after that. Uh, it felt like a defeat in my mind. That, to that talk. It was pretty informative that I, I, I liked that. But I felt like I, I, I kind of failed to get my point across in a little bit. bit. Because what, what was gnawing at me a little bit is that People usually talk no about health, and here. people just know the cost of being uh, unhealthy, for example. But uh, what people don't usually consider is the cost of being healthy, which, as far as I perceive it, is like nothing. So I think that that would have been should have been my main point, because basically you just need to eat a little less and. Uh, You say GG, but you don't click GG button. Pick BM. What? It's not BM. Just because I don't, like, hit the button of GG. It's not GG. Saying GG is... Come on. If I said GG to you and, like, hug you and said, like, you're my brother, but I didn't click on the GG button, you would say, like, that, that was BM. Kind of want to shut that down. But I can't. Hey, watch your step. There's a Shaolin saying, one must keep on and on to succeed. Well, that's a pretty common observation in cultures. Who took it personally? Oh, that was one guy who felt called out. And I felt bad about it. My health is simple, but there is a Cognitive dissonance. Cost of health is having to live in this world. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> but like, not really... Yeah, sure. Cost of really... Taking care of your health a little bit more. Anyway, I was thinking of playing some games, but I... Like, other than Gwen, but I'm, I couldn't really decide on what to play. Thought about doing some Tropico. Play the dumb spy game some other time. I don't really follow games that much right now. Do I do I keep playing here? Yeah, we definitely keep playing, but I'm not sure how much. I think we gotta play the Swordmaster. I don't think the meme is gonna push me. So maybe. 
They're just gonna play something weak. That's good enough. That's still good enough. Anything that doesn't make me keep playing is fine. But I'm just gonna pass. Noxar plays. Maybe that should be my name too. How about that? Adam plays or whatever. That's the best name. Apparently that that's what a lot of people have. We brew replace. Hmm. Rushing trap. I don't know. Could help. Well, we definitely don't want the cutthroat. Apparently, I only have the cutthroat in the deck just to throw it away. <laughs> the good of magic. That is what I serve first and foremost. Ah! Yeah, I don't know. So I think we might just go with the tree and boar here. Although, yeah, tree and boar. Let's start with that. You shield that? Okay, this makes it pretty likely that he's giving up. But the and Boar goes in. And we're just gonna play a Matron. It's good. If everyone has a place suffix, it's redundant. It'd just be Adam. But they... They wouldn't allow me just to be Adam. They would say that's too too short. You can't be just called Adam. Okay. We don't have access to the double trap. And also this is not terribly useful. And also this is not terribly useful as well. So this is at most like a 7 here. This could be a little better. It's kind of very similar. Sure. If I play Pafko Gale, he can pink shields, which is really good. That's that's one reason I, I probably should have considered keeping the Swordmaster. Uh, the Hawker Smuggler might actually die. So I think we're just gonna play Pop in the front. I guess it's gonna take some more patching. Five damn. On God! Oh. To a duel, I challenge thee! Okay, let's go with the smuggler. Maybe we should have played the smuggler first. Just to bait out some removal. Technically we can play the sentries. Oh my god. Why is he so removal crazy? So we don't even have a Ragnarok. I can do something like a Dobletana sentry in the front, plus one Bruver move. To get rid of the zeal. But it not, might not matter at all. We can play something like a Pitfall Trap. This is bad. We don't have access to uh, a lot. I can play an Elven Scout in the back. I don't know. We probably want to move him. Okay. Five damage is pretty rare. It's actually pretty annoying. But we can lock that. And it would get reasonably strong. Okay. 
let's go with that for now. We gotta play Elmond Scout prelim soon. And the Crushing Trap is not gonna be great. Great Oak is not gonna be great. Overall, this looks like possibly Meave's game, because we don't have the Ragnarok or Jorvitz Gambas. That could be extremely dangerous. Only death here for Dwan. I hate this. But I guess I'm gonna do it. Obviously, I want to play Pitfall Trap twice, most likely. To arms! If I can execute the tree down, that would be great. We still have some more removal with the Great Oak. Another battle, another entry. Come on. I can't even order it, order the traps anymore. Actually, we can do pitfall trap, then replay Death pitfall trap into the crushing trap. Then Pitfall Trap again. Enough of this farce! Fedrai and lay! If he has an Arcvis, he's gonna play it now. Hold. He doesn't have a choice. Well, new. I'm not sure what he's holding on to, but I guess it's gonna get blown up. No need to kill it, it's ranged. It was range row. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, you're right, you're, you're right. We could have used the... Uh, we could have saved one uh, charge. Okay, he's taking 4 damage, plus the value generation shuts down. Plus we blow up whatever he has last. Wow! GG. Well done. If he had a unit. Oh, that would have been nice. I'm not sure why I was playing the last units really in the front. We could have we could have won that. You damn doggy. You got me. But he got lucky. He got lucky that I was dumb. GG.